Hi everybody, Jolie O'Dell here, and uh, it has been a long time since I've done video, and it's been a long time since I did any programming. Java was a great way for me to get into object-oriented programming, and now I'm kind of trying to branch out, and um, everybody and their dog wants me to learn Ruby, and I'm never gonna do that. I just, it's too popular and way too trendy. I've wanted to learn Python for the longest time, and I think Python is definitely in my future. PHP would be cool. It's so applicable to so many different web applications that I might wanna develop for in the future, but this time around, I decided to go with something that's a lot like Java and not nearly as trendy as some of the other languages out there. I am starting back into programming with C sharp. Oh my god! Nobody that I know is studying C sharp, but I'm very excited about it. Part two, uh, there's the language part, which I already told you about, and then there's the, um, the platform part. How was I going to learn the new language? I was going to a community college before, and that was like a totally great way um, to spend some time in person having these really interesting but very new concepts explained to me. I work full-time, so getting to the community college, staying there for three hours in the middle of the day, three times a week, and then going back to work at Mashable became problematic, not really for me, but for Mashable. So out of courtesy and respect for my employers, I'm trying to do online classes where it's not a semester structure and you don't have to do this this week and that next week because honestly it's real life and things come up and I need to take a break or pause the class that I'm in and walk away and answer a phone call or whatever. The platform I decided to go with is called Plural Sight. Um, it's a really cool little web-based training uh, platform and I, I did the first uh, little class last night. It's about an hour long. It's called Introduction to C Sharp or the Obje Objectives, something like that. And about halfway through the first module, I had um, written my first Hello World in C Sharp, and I couldn't have been happier with the whole thing. The greatest thing that I like so far about it is um, I'm kind of hands-on, like I have to do it if I'm going to understand it. So I was able to start the class, and then the dude was like, hey, you need a .NET, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll go download .NET now. I paused it, I did the thing, and I came back, and he's like, eh, and Visual Studio, I'm like, crap, I forgot Visual Studio. Paused it, got the Visual Studio, came back, and he was like, and now here's how you do a command line and create a file and do the hello world. And I paused it, went back, did it, felt proud of myself, came back to the class. It was an exciting, fun way to start C Sharp. And um, I'm not going to show you my, my Hello World program because uh, it, it's, it's not necessary, but I hope to be showing you the fruits of my labor at some point in the very near future. Hang with me. I hope that you are as excited as I am about learning a new language. And yeah, um, I'm really interested to see how this plural site thing is going to go. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.